Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Nurat Bello, and welcome back to Nurat Bello's vlog. Okay, so I live in the city of Saskatoon in the province of Saskatchewan, Canada, and I came to this country on a work permit. I've explained this in my several videos, and I, I explained how I got a job offer while I was back home in Nigeria. And if you're interested in this video, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box where you can see what I go through and all the things that I had to do with the site that I applied to jobs for you to be able to do same. So this video is inspired by some of my subscribers that have reached out to me on Instagram, on my Gmail, and also on here on the comment section. And you know, asking several questions about how they can get a job offer back home, whatever country they are. And this is the reason why I have put up um, this particular video to explain in um, details so in this video i'll be explaining about um how you can move to saskatchewan the province of saskatchewan through the international healthcare worker expression of interest so when i did my what i did was apply to jobs and i got the job and then that is when i opened the oasis website and applied to be nominated to come to canada to the province of saskatchewan so if you are in healthcare line like if you're a nurse or a pharmacy or a chiropractor you know physiotherapist general practitioner this video is for you so i need you to relax and sit tight so they can explain everything in details and you follow me all through this video and i'll make it worth your while and also i'm gonna leave a link in the description box where you can read further because one thing i know about you know looking for job in um in overseas country you need to be ready to carry out research you need to be able to to be, to be ready to be able to do a lot of <laughs> online searching you know trying to look for things it's very very essential that you do this for yourself even after wa watching several videos including mine so i'm gonna leave a link in the description box where you can read further about this particular program it is um international healthcare worker expression of interest so without further ado let's jump right into the video okay so it is important for you to know that this particular stream or pathways um is for those that want to come and work and live in saskatchewan and if per adventure you get your job offer you're going to have to apply to be nominated to come down to this province and after you do that um you are also going to be um, advised to you know apply for permanent residence so this is one thing that i love about this particular program okay now the first thing to do is for you to create an expression of interest profile on the simp platform called the o um the oasis so i'm going to leave a link in the description box where you can do that so here you're going to be asked a series of questions towards you um your interest in wanting to come over to saskatchewan to live and work so it is through your profile that employers in healthcare sector will contact you and offer you a job opportunity due to the skill set that you possess okay now to explain this in its simplest form the international healthcare worker expression of interest program is a kind of um uh, a pre-application form that allows applicants from across the world to fill an online form and this is simply to indicate their interest in coming over to Saskatchewan to work and live here in the selected healthcare occupations and by doing so it will also allow you to upload your um, qualifications work experience or any um, professional qualifications that you have to make you stand out amongst other applicants. This information that you provide will be used to identify you for job opportunities by the employers in the healthcare sector in Saskatchewan. So those that have the skills needed um, by these employers are going to be contacted with the job postings information. And this include how and where to apply for these job opportunities. So once you are selected and receive an employment offer, you are going to be eligible to apply for either the SIMP um, international skill worker program or the simp art of few skill um pilot program so now let's break this down i know it's a bit confusing here but i need you to just follow me through so you can understand so now the international healthcare worker eoi is more let, let's see that one as the main branch it is a platform where you express you show your interest in coming to saskatchewan to work so now when you get a job offer you can either apply to either the international um, um international skilled worker program or the um the simp out of you skill pilot program which i did so the first one which is the simp international um, um um worker program it is um point based and this um because this point base you're going to be assessed based on your on some criteria, and this includes um your education your language ability your age 
and a lot of there are lots of um, boxes that you need to check for you to have enough points to be nominated to come over. And for the out of your skill, it is not point based. You don't need to. You can apply even if you are forty years. You know, nothing is going to affect you when it comes to. It. Let us say that it is not point based. So to explain this further, I'm going to drop the link in the description box so you can understand even better. Also, I can simply do another video entirely to explain the interna the SINP International Skilled Worker Program and the SINP Out of Your Skill Pilot Program. I think that'll be best. Another thing to note is that not all applicants or candidates that apply for this, um, that put out their EOI, which is the expression of interest profile, will be contacted for job opportunities or for, or for job, job posting information. So what I would advise here is that you need to do a good job, do a thorough job. You know, you can go online and see all the documents you would be needing to, you know, create an EOI profile and ensure that you have all your, um, your documents uploaded in PDF. Ensure you have your um, professional qualification that will even stand you out for um, to employers so you can get picked. The International Healthcare Worker EOI is a robust framework that allows applicants from around the world to, uh, to submit their um, expression of interest. And guess what? Um, day by day, thousands of um, um, applications goes into the system. So be sure to do a thorough job so you can get I know selected another thing to note is that um candidates can only have one um eui profile at a time on the system so be careful not to get yourself deleted from the stream by trying to create two eui profile at a time now the aim of this program is to link a foreign trained worker with um a saskatchewan employers but there are some cases where this foreign um workers already gotten an um employment offer without having to um, you know, submit an expression of interest profile, which was in my case, when I was back home in Nigeria, I didn't have to create an expression of interest um, profile before getting um, my job offer. So I already secured the job offer. Then I just opened the OASIS website and then applied to be nominated to come over and work. So in this case, what you have to do is go on the OASIS website and apply either through the International Skilled Worker Program or the Art of Use Pilot Program. Be sure to understand these two um, programs because one is point-based and the other is not point-based. So please do your due diligence. So are you ready to create an expression of interest profile? If so, then check the link in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up and also please subscribe to my channel and do not forget to click on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you. Now I'm going to go ahead and list out all the um, occupations that are available under the International Healthcare Worker EOI system. Also know that all occupation has a NOC code, which is National Occupation Classification. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to mention the job titles only. So mind me, I'll be looking down my um, book while I read them out because they are quite much. So the first one is Health Information Management Practitioner. And then we also have Public and Environmental Health and Safety professionals, occupation, occupational health and safety specialist. And then we also have registered nurse and registered psychiatric nurse, chiropractors, kinesiology and other professional occupations and therapy, nurse practitioner, physician assistant, midwife and a lead health professionals, pharmacist, audiologist and speech language therapies and um, pathologists actually, um physiotherapies and many more so please i'm gonna leave a link in the description box where you see you have access to all of this occupation so please if you are in healthcare line this is the time for you to you know to make sure you do all this research i'm gonna leave a link like i've said so please click on the link and read more so next is the required document to apply so here i will give a general overview of the document that we need to be needing to apply for either um the international um skilled worker program or the art of your skill pilot program. I hope we are in sync. So part of the, um, the required document that we had to submit is your identity, which is your updated international passport. You can also include that of your spouse and dependent children if you want them to come over to you with you to work and um, live in, you know. Yeah. And then the second document that you would need to apply for this is your work experience. All you have to do is to submit your current um, job offer um, and your job offer documents and also pay stops as well as um, reference letter from your employer if they're willing to give you. All of these are going to be used to verify your work experience. And um, the, minimal, the minimum work experience needed for this program 
either the international healthcare worker or the out of use skill is just one year one year in the last five years one year paid work experience so this cannot be a volunteer a volunteer job it has to be a paid work experience and it should be written in your offer letter the amount of hours you worked and the amount you're paid per month or maybe bi weekly so it's up to you another important thing to note is that your work experience has to tally with your intended occupation take for instance you're applying to work as a nurse or a chiropractor you need to upload a document saying that you have experience in this line you cannot upload a document um, uh, a work experience document that you have in maybe an IT work and you want to use that as a work experience in in a healthcare sector is not going to be um, allowed it's not going to be um, permitted so please be sure to do your due diligence and upload the right documents. Another document that is required for you to submit is your academic credentials, which is your ECA, your educational credential assessment. You get this ECA report when you assess your credentials with any of the assessing body that um, Canada government has put in place, such as the World Education Service, West. Then we also have the ICAS, and many more. So be sure to already assess your credentials before you upload them in PDF form only. So I have a video where I explain how to assess your credentials. Be sure to um, watch it or rather I'll leave a link in the description box where you can have the general overview, the general knowledge on how to you know, assess your credentials in total. Another required document is your language ability test result. And this can be in form of IELTS, CELPIP, OTCP, and many more. The minimum language benchmark is CLB4 or higher but i would advise that you go for even more higher band score so that you can stand out amongst other applicants please be sure to upload your training certificates or professional certificates if you have any all of these are going to make you stand out and attractive to the canadian employers saskatchewan employers <laughs> so not to bore you with too much information i would like to put an end to this video here and do more video to buttress my points in the future so if you have not subscribed to my channel please click on the subscribe button right now like right now please <laughs> and also do not forget to turn on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever i post a new video and i'll see you again in my next video bye So please note that all the job occupation <laughs> what we need to, to come on to come down to this province and work you are going to be <laughs> sweetheart i need to do this video come on now to explain um to entire <laughs>